Watch until the end to see how you can win a bundle of Pixel goodies. For the last three months, I've been testing out all of the top password managers and have spent a total of $323 on signing up with pay plans for each of them, comparing their features and especially their security, documenting it as I go, just to ensure that my most important information is as secure as possible and easily accessible across Mac, PC, iPhone, and Android, particularly as I often switch between devices like multiple times a month. Now this, this is one of the biggest reasons why using built-in password managers like Google Chrome, Apple's Keychain, or Samsung Knox just isn't a good idea because you can't switch devices. Starting off with security, which is one of the most important parts of choosing a password manager. Now there's no point trusting all of your information with someone if it's not secure. And of all the ones that I've tested, LastPass really is in a league of its own when it comes to breaches. Yes, with multiple serious breaches over the recent years, and with an issue as recent as last month, this seems to happen every time I make a video. Now, LastPass also have trackers embedded in their Android app, which have been there for many, many years, with a ton of people online asking for their removal, but they're still there, including one that collects user activity and one for marketing purposes. Now, trackers aren't unique to LastPass either. Of all of those I've tested here today, only one password and keeper have zero embedded trackers in their apps. And I'm a huge fan of both of these products purely because of that fact. Now, there are reasons why developers might want to include trackers in their apps to gather data if they're, you know, app crashes, which everyone except LastPass is doing here. But to collect user activity and marketing information is a big no-no. And whilst I'm sure the trackers monitoring for bugs and crashes aren't doing anything malicious, I'd still like to know that nothing is sat there monitoring my use of their app. They are literally the only company I've come across that repeatedly suffers breaches. And when the whole purpose of your business is security, that is quite concerning. Now, I also often hear opinions that state that, well, LastPass is still a good option because at least they disclose their breaches which is basically like saying that you're gonna buy a house that floods every month rather than another house on higher ground because at least you know that you might get wet. That's what she said. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> Disgusting. No, no, no. Now, in summary, I have never seen a security product recommend to its users that they reset their master password as often as LastPass does. It is insane. So to be clear, I do not do not recommend LastPass. And if you're using LastPass, I'd recommend switching to another more secure option. And that is why from here on, I will not be covering LastPass any further in this video. Now, pricing wise, password managers are like the DFS sale, which for those of you non-British people watching, it is basically a warehouse full of sofas or other couches. Wait, do the US have couch stores? Couch superstores? Anyway, <laughs> it's the sale that never ends. So all of the prices I've listed are the best that I can find online and personal opinion here, but I am happy to spend actual money, not a lot, but a little bit of money each year for what I class as the best password manager, because I want the best security, the best features, and the best ease of use. Now, if you really, really don't want to pay, then I'd recommend either Proton Pass or Bitwarden. Even though RoboForm and NordPass also have free tiers, they limit the number of devices you can use, which then makes it very, very difficult when switching between, say, a phone and a computer, particularly if you have a lot of devices. Now, generally speaking, all of these password managers will fill in usernames, passwords, two-factor authentication codes, as well as they will monitor for any breaches within your accounts. All of them let you store more than just passwords. They let you securely share passwords as well. And they all work across Mac, Windows, iPhone, and Android, and will generally just do a great job at all of the above. All of them also support pass keys, except for ProtonPass. And pass keys are like the next generation of logging in without an actual password because it avoids tricking people into giving away their passwords. Therefore, it's more secure and it's better to use. Neither Dashlane or RoboForm support the use of YubiKeys, something I'm a huge fan of, which is a second form of authentication. Wait, is it authentication? Wait, is authentication a word? Let me know down in the comments. Now with a YubiKey, you'll need to physically be there, pop your key in and then touch the contact sensor on this to prove that you're physically there. So it just stops someone who isn't you logging in from another location. Now what I'm also a huge fan of is a desktop client in addition to you know, a mobile app for when trying to log into a desktop app such as maybe it's Zoom or even system prompts. 
Now, Proton Pass only has a Windows client with others apparently coming soon. Now, Dashlane decided a few years ago to move away from a desktop client to focus on their browser only experience, which in my opinion was a step back personally, but it is features which are unique to each one that sets them apart from others. One Password has a desktop client that can also fill almost anywhere, including system prompts by just typing a simple keyboard shortcut. One Password and Keeper also have a feature that integrates with a smartwatch, either Android or Apple. Yes, I'm a weird person wearing two, explain more later, uh, that lets you unlock your desktop password manager via your watch, which is pretty cool. One Password also has integrations with Fastmail to create unique email addresses for individual services. So even if a service you use gets hacked, they won't have a valid email address for you that they could use to then break into other services. There's one with privacy or privacy to create virtual credit cards with limits and crypto wallet integrations too. And the thing that tops it off for me with 1Password is they also have a unique feature by using a secret key in addition to your master password. So even if someone knows or guesses your username, your master password, they'll still be unable to access your passwords. It's a very, very good way to protect against someone using maybe like an easy to guess master password. ProtonPass also generates unique email addresses when used together with ProtonMail. It's also open source, which people love. And they have a service called Proton Center which puts a team of real actual physical people monitoring your accounts to detect any attempted breaches. Dashlane offers dark web monitoring and an included VPN, which now actually makes its very high price kind of make sense if you want a password manager and a VPN at the same time. NordPass takes the email masking features from Proton and 1Password, but works with any email service. Now it does this by generating completely random email addresses and just forwarding those to your email inbox. They also include dark web monitoring in their pay plans too. Roboform is the best form filler of all of those I've tested, which kind of makes sense since it started life out as a pure form filler tool that has developed into a path manager over time. Though I would say the interface is a little bit clunky. When using it on a mobile, for example, I want to tap on an item to see the username and password to go and copy it somewhere. But what that does is it opens it in a browser window. Kind of frustrating after a while. Bitwarden is also open source like Proton and has features such as securely sending files and with a very unique option of all of the others to self-host your own password vault. Now, if you're the type of person who doesn't trust your data being stored outside of the devices you own, so which one should you pick? Well, personally, you can't really go wrong with any of the password managers I've mentioned other than LastPass. But after reviewing all of the other password managers, personally, I'm gonna stick with 1Password for another year. I love the interface, their commitment to security, regular updates, new features, new integrations. Now, Keeper would be my second pick, personally. And coincidentally, 1Password and Keeper are the two password managers here, the only two password managers, which don't embed trackers in their Android apps. They both support YubiKeys and have a very, very good track record when it comes to security. Now, in terms of comparing pricing, I did reach out to each of the password managers asking for a discount code. And for those that didn't provide one or one where a better deal exists elsewhere, I'm gonna to link to the best deals I can find down below. Now they are first year prices and of course are subject to change, but I will do my best to keep the description updated with the best discounts as time rolls on. Now, some of them are 50% off, some are less. I actually ran a competition with 1Password early this month to win a Pixel 8 Pro, Pixel Buds, and Pixel Watch 2 for one of the first 1,500 people to sign up with a paid account. So I'll link that down below as well. And just be aware here that the price will likely go up in year two because they're all discounted. But hey, any discount is a good discount, right? Subscribe to the channel. We have another video coming up on cloud storage soon, but until the next one, bye-bye.